Welcome back everybody. Now we have noticed in the last few years that Home Depot is coming out with awesome props and I picked this one up this year. This is the Rocking Witch. If you've been following along with my videos you'll know I'm trying, trying to do a witch theme in my living room. So I've actually kind of had second thoughts with this prop because I really like the way my living room is turning out. It's looking very um, decorative and elegant I think and <laughs> I think this might just be a little over the top but uh, if it is I'll find a use for her somewhere because she's still pretty awesome. Um, I did notice on the back, since we're talking about Halloween and um, Home Depot, that they have actually listed on here Halloween Harvest 8-17-2018 to 11-1-2018. I'm not sure why they put the dates that they were going to have, you know, the Halloween props out on the product, but that gives us a good hint for next year because they do put out, at least at my store, they put out their stuff very early. So now we know, start looking around mid-August, you'll start seeing the Halloween props. But this is what we're going to take a look at today. Again, she is, what do they call her here? Let's just read the box. She's a five-foot LED rocking chair witch, talking motion and moving body, motion activated, illuminated eyes, spooky sound effects, requires three AA batteries or an adapter, which is actually included. So... That's neat that they give you the option. You can do one or the other. So let's go ahead and open her up. This box weighs 25 pounds, so it is not a light prop by any means. And when we take a look here inside, you can see there is a lot of assembly required for all this stuff inside the box. But let's go ahead and see what we have. Okay, the back of the chair, obviously, so it's nice that this is all in one piece. We don't have to deal with it. All right, we've got some more chair pieces. Looks like there's going to be a lot of chair pieces. <laughs> um, and everything is tightly packed in here. I suspect I'm never going to get this back in the box. All right, well, here are her legs. They're a little cheesy looking, um, but we'll see. Reserve my judgment until we get her assembled. All right. All right, I think we're gonna have to pull out her body next here. All right, so here's her torso. Looks like it's got a big chest plastic piece, some claws, and uh, a nice dress. Just put that over here with her legs. All right, another piece of the rocking chair. Another piece of the rocking chair. Here is the instruction sheet and it looks like the electrical adapter. So let's go ahead and open that. Sometimes I like to put these things together without reading the instructions. I suspect I'm going to need them this time. Um, it's one-sided instruction sheet. Um, it looks like it is a Home Accents product. I know some of you like to know who actually makes these, but I don't see on here if there's any sort of other manufacturer information. Um, Though it is printed in China, so it's clearly a Chinese product, but what isn't these days? All right. Inside, we have some pieces. Looks like some chair pieces. And the... Let's just open that up. There is the electrical adapter. All right. So the only last thing that is here... Oops. In the box. Hold on. Put that back in my pocket is the witch's head. She's kind of, It's got a big, nice, full-size head, and she's kind of cute. So let's go ahead and uh, get this thing assembled. You know, I thought it would be a lot harder to assemble, but it really doesn't look like there is all that much stuff here. Um, so hopefully it all just kind of snaps together pretty easy, but let's take a look at the instructions. For simplicity's sake, I went ahead and removed all of the packing material, the bubble wrap and so forth, all of, all of these pieces. 
And basically, to start assembly, we are just going to take these crossbars and assemble the base of the rocking chair um, by inserting the crossbars into the bottom. Now, one thing I've noticed, well, two things actually. The first is there's a finished side of this where there's no holes. There are holes on the other side, um, which clearly gives it an unfinished appearance. But unfortunately, you would think they would keep the finished side on the outside of both pieces, but really it's not. It's the finished side is both on my left side. Um, so however you have it, you know, one side is going to be not looking as nice as the other side. They also have two different sizes of these crossbars and the instructions really don't tell you which side goes where. Um, which one goes in front, which one goes in back. Um, but I just kind of kind of can tell from the picture that I think the shorter one goes in the back. So we're going to try that first. I also see that this piece is, you probably, I'm sure you can't see that in there, but you know, it's two, there's a seam on each side of this tube and it's pulling apart. Um, there's a lot of give to it. So not a quality product, but I think we already decided it was made in China, so what are we expecting for $139, which is what I paid for this from Home Depot. So I'm going to go ahead and pop that in there. Wait, okay, so this is the back. I've got the shorter side here. I'm going to put it in both sides. I'm going to take the longer bar. Now there is a notch on one side of the bar, so we know um, it has to correspond in the hole in the same way. So really it only goes in one way, is what I'm trying to say. There we go. Now, these little doohickeys that I pointed out a moment ago are what are going to hold that in place. You are going to need a screwdriver that is not included to assemble this. So let's go ahead and just flip that on the side. It looks like these just sort of, you can hand tighten it, it looks like because the ends of those little bars are threaded. So we'll just start these on. Let's see if we can get that on there. Come on. Work with me. All right. And we need to take our screwdriver to tighten it fully. So tighten one. Okay, so we got one side done. It does feel a lot sturdier all of a sudden. So these are clearly effective, doing something. Get these other two on. Okay, I've screwed on all four of those things and it is already coming together. It feels much sturdier now. The next step is to put on the seat and it looks like it has um, some holes, notches in it. It's supposed to just sit in place. It looks like there are some um, like nubs here. There are three on each side. So it looks like this thing is just going to pop in there and just basically sit in place on top of those. All right, just kind of snaps in place. There we go, that was easy. All right, next comes the back, and it also is supposed to just slide into place. Now, it doesn't want to fit all of a sudden. I've kind of got to pull it, squeeze it in, push it down. All right, so it felt like something just popped up, but I, I don't know. All right, so there we go, coming together. I guess we have the chair all done. That was fast. All right, next comes the body. Um, let's just take a look at this. Now there is a wire that we're gonna need to attach to the head. Just glancing at the picture, I guess this is a shaw. It's gonna go around our shoulders. Um, oh, whoops, this is the back. <laughs> there is a hole here where we can look at um, the mechanism. Now there is a jack with a try me um, hole. It doesn't come with a foot pad, but you could connect one there. There is the battery adapter area. There's a battery compartment here, and then there is an on, off, or demo. So 
Oh, she comes with batteries, clearly. Um, let's just leave her off for the moment. And we'll go ahead and put her in the chair. Now, this bar here oh, um, just goes right into the slot in the chair. So she sits up nice and easy. Now there is a Velcro strap here. I guess we are just supposed to strap the... All right, let me turn this around so you can see it. If you can see it amongst all of this. So there's a Velcro strap right here at the bottom, um, which now that I'm thinking of it, I don't have a clue what that's supposed to strap in because it only straps the ends right there. We'll come back to that, I suppose. Um, but the hands also have a little nub here that we are going to stick right on. One for each. And this is her shawl. Let's go ahead and wrap that around. Okay. So I think her dress is supposed to go on the Velcro in the back, I guess, so the dress doesn't fly off. So let's go ahead and give her some modesty. All right. Not sure if I got that on. I can't really see what I'm doing down there, but it kind of feels like it's in place. So there we go. Um, she is coming along. I'm not sure I got her dress entirely correct, and I'm not too concerned about it. All right, let's move on. The last thing we need to do is attach her head. There are two wires, L and K, they're both marked. So let's go ahead and put her head in the slot. Maybe. All right, just slides right on there. And connect these wires. Her hair is kind of stringy and gets everywhere. There's one. afraid of that what the hair getting all mixed in with these wires but it doesn't seem like there's an easy way to tuck these wires out of the way either let's see what I can do once I get that connected okay I guess you just sort of tuck it underneath there it's unfortunate I don't like the way her shawl sits here I'm not sure I've got it right but uh, I don't see how it could do anything else And it looks like that's going to constantly fall, but okay, well, there she is. There's a big gap here in her neck. I definitely don't like that. Um, I don't know if her dress needs to be adjusted, but all right, she is what it, she is. So let me go ahead, plug in her adapter. We'll get her plugged in and let's see how she works. Would you like some treats? Or would you have some treats?
All right. I think she's got a very realistic rocking motion. I think she's awesome. I love her. Um, I did notice that she was creeping over toward me as the, uh, you know, as she kept rocking. So she might need to be positioned somehow that she doesn't do that, or maybe put a little stopper down here to keep her in one place so she stays where she needs to be. But she's got, you know, very clear voice. Her facial features are awesome. Um, you know what, speaking of the facial features, let me go ahead and bring the camera closer. We'll take a closer look. Here's her face, very realistic motion. She's got some teeth in there, it looks like. Very creepy eyes, nice wrinkles, gross mole. Nice her stringy hair. Nice hands. She has such pretty fingernails that match her dress. Her dress actually looks very nice. These are the holes in the chair I was talking about. Those bother me a little bit. So holes on one side, not on the other side. So she's got one good side and all bad feet. I guess that's kind of cute. <laughs> But these uh, little fabric boots kind of ruin the whole effect. All right, so what do you think? Tell me, is she worth the money? Again, $140 from Home Depot. She has a lot of phrases. So, you know, usually with the props, you get a very limited number. I, can't, I lost track. Were there six of them? At least five, maybe? Um, so that was nice, and she doesn't have all of that horrible background noise. There wasn't a few a uh, few of the the phrases, I think. I mean, I remember hearing some bubbling and whatnot, and maybe some cat screeching, but overall, she was easy to understand, and that's important to me. Especially don't like it when they have overpowering background noises, because I like to have my own music. Any prop of music just drives me insane. Um, but, you know, I think she has a lot of presence. And uh, I don't know, I think she's a good value for money. Tell me, what do you think? Are you gonna add her to your haunt? Um, I guess last thing to do is put her in my living room with the rest of my stuff and see how she fits in. Um, so I will put that at the end of the video. That's it for today, guys. Um, stay tuned for more. I've got another animated prop I bought from Spirit that's coming up soon and more DIYs and store um, walkthroughs. So stay tuned for those. Until next time, take care and happy haunting.